made the decision when I pushed the go live button to decide to dis determine whether it was really me, but between my phone and my computer, the code wasn't sending. It was, it was a whole thing. So I am so very sorry. Hopefully y'all stuck around or will get a notice when I actually am live. And I hope I'm actually live now. It looks like I am. Let me do some straightening up. I feel very crooked on my whole, everything feels really crooked, really crooked. Okay, here we go. Yes. All right. Yes, indeed, Rosie. <laughs> my goodness. <laughs> Have I ever mentioned like recently how much I hate tech? I'm feeling every bit of my 29 and a half years right now. All right. Anyway, so <sighs> shake it off. Shake it off. My goodness. I believe Mark, didn't Mark Zuckerberg buy YouTube? I'm going to go with that. Hi, Beverly. Hi, Liz. Hi, Claire. Hi, Brooke. Hello, everybody. I'm so glad that you stuck around. Thank you so much. All right. So here's our card for today. It is a, it is as clean and simple as Mary ever does. Okay. I mean, it's just, I can't get any cleaner or simpler than this. And I've even got a little bling because I just can't help it. But it uses the new crafting with you stamp set, which is pretty darn perfect for us card makers. I'm just going to say. And let's go ahead and get started since I'm already eating 12 minutes into your day. So everything will be on my blog tomorrow. You won't even need to take notes. What we're going to do is start with a piece of, I've got some new colors for you. And I think what I'll do first, because I want to use it kind of as a guideline for my watercoloring, is I am going to stamp and cut out <clears throat> my painter's easel. And I am going to do that in Lost Lagoon on just a piece of basic white. Hey, Jenna Marie. Hi, Julie. Appreciate you coming. And let's see. I've got my little foam pad here. I'm going to do this. Let's do this. Let's do this. So anyway, this is Lost Lagoon. This is a new returning color. All right. So Lost Lagoon is from, it's a blast from the past. And you know what? I'm, I just can't even remember if I was around when it was around the last time, but it's a beautiful color. It's kind of, for me, sort of like soft succulent, maybe a little bit darker, but, but I do kind of like it. So there we go. Now I'm going to, in the middle, stamp the cute little um, flower image from the set in Bubble Bath, which is a pink color like so, as if I was painting that. I could never paint that. I mean, I know that's pretty simple, but I could never paint that. Thank you, Cindy, I appreciate it. Hey, Marva. All right, and then I'm stamping one of my favorite sentiments ever, sending you a handmade hug in Pretty Peacock, also a returning color, and I was on board when this was here. Let me get kind of over the top of it so I'm sort of straight. Hang on, I'm going to pull it to me just a little bit. Sorry if that takes it out of the screen, but I want it to be straight. Okay, there we go. Now, I'm going to go off camera here just one little hot second and cut it out. This die set is so cool. You've got all sorts of dies. You can cut out a stamp and cut an emboss machine, a sewing machine, some scissors, a paper trimmer, and it actually cuts a slit. You can slide a piece of paper in like you're cutting. And then this die right here actually will cut out our painter's um, palette. So hang on just a second. It's not a painter's palette, it's an easel. Duh. Hello, Mary McFly. So I'm just gonna cut this out right quick. I would do it on camera, but it really shakes my table and, and nobody wants to make you sick today. So I'm going to do it over here. All right. So here we go. You can see what a nice job it does cutting out. I really love it. It's fun. So now I'm using this as a as a size guide, if you will. And what I'm gonna do is a little bit of watercoloring with new Lemon Lolly, very, very pale yellow. And I'm going to use, well, Karen, it was actually me. I went to go live and YouTube decided it needed to keep me safe to verify that I was who I was. And it kept saying tap on the YouTube thing with the message we're sending and then it would just start spinning on my phone. So restart the computer, restart the phone. And finally it decided on the 17th try, why don't I send you a text? <laughs> Duh, that was a lot easier. It worked in a heartbeat. 
Okay, so I'm just putting some Lemon Lolly ink refill on an acrylic block. This is a cool way to do a little watercoloring. <clears throat> and I have a water painter with the biggest brush on it. And I'm just going to squeeze a little water out of the brush onto the block. I really am kind of diluting it pretty good and making it wet. And then I'm just gonna brush. And I really don't want just tons of water on here. And I'm staying kind of in the middle. And the reason I cut this out is because I wanna be sure that I have plenty of color above and below when I center this. So that looks pretty good. I'm gonna put a little more color down here. There we go. And I really don't even care if it's kind of streaky. I, in fact, I kind of want it streaky and I'm a little disappointed that I overdid it right there. But any hooch, uh, we're gonna let that dry for a second. And I may help it along with my heat tool. Cool thing about the Stampin' Up! heat tool is it has two settings. So I've got it on low right now just to help this dry a little bit. And this basic white, you really don't want to use a, sh a whole bunch of water because you will warp it pretty good if you, if you do. So go easy. You can always add more color and more water. Okay. See how pretty with it this is? I, I really like it, the kind of streaky look. Okay, so now it's just a matter of putting some dimensionales on the back of my doohickey with this easel that I keep calling the wrong thing. And we're going to pop this onto the card front eventually. Not quite yet. And I'm gonna cut a couple of these. These are already halves, so I'm cutting them into fourths just so I can put some down here on the, um, the little leggies without um, them showing. And we're gonna, I'm gonna show you another little trick. So I've got two halves, which means now I have three quarters. And I'm just sticking them right there. This is dry enough. Let's go ahead and put it on our our um, Lost Lagoon mat. Uh, so this color palette is Lost Lagoon, Pretty Peacock, Lemon Lolly, and Bubble Bath. I'm not really counting the Pecan Pie Basket just because it's sort of just a neutral. Uh, you are the one who is 16. I am 60. Was this, was that what you were requesting was a song? I think it was, probably. Okay. So let's go ahead and adhere this now to our card front with our dimensionals that we've already placed. So what do you think? Pretty Peacock, Lost Lagoon, and Bubble Bath. I like it. And then the addition of the bright lemon lolly, which is very, very pale, but it it, it almost looks a little bit neonish if you're up close to it, but, but it isn't once it gets onto paper. So um, don't be afraid of lemon lolly. All right, we're gonna try to make that kind of straight and kind of in the middle like that. All right, now, I also did a little bit of pre-stamping and die cutting. I have the basket from the set that I stamped in pecan pie and cut it with its die. Then I made the brushes twice, once in Bubble Bath and once in Pretty Peacock. I figured with these colors, that's what somebody would be coloring with. And here's a little tip. I, I assembled a basket assembly before I put it onto the card front, just to make it a little easier. So all I did was, on my work surface, I put everything kind of how I wanted it. And I'm gonna push that basket right up to the bottom, the very bottom of the brushes, because I think you would probably want those brushes pretty, pretty high up. You know what I mean? You would want as much brush in the basket as you could get, is what I'm attempting to say, but not very well. All righty. I know, it. you're right, Faith, it's a beautiful, it's a beautiful yellow. I like it a lot. I like it a lot. Better than So Saffron. I was sad when So Saffron left, but this is a much more pure 
yellow. Okay, so I've got the two brushes where I want them. I'm just holding them with my thumb and putting a little bit of liquid glue on there. And then I'm going to place my basket right back over the top. So basically all I'm doing here is I'm making one unit that I can then ad adhere, just like that. All right, that makes it much, much easier to adhere. And it's gonna let me do a little more dimensional hiding, if you will. All right, so, so we're gonna put, I'm gonna put my dimensionals on the card front. Let me show you where we want it to go. So we're gonna set it right about there. So I'm just gonna put a couple of dimensionals here and then that one little quarter dimensional that I had left over from cutting up for the legs, I'm going to put on the other side of that leg. Oh, <laughs> right after I get it off of my fingernail. That thing was trying to hide. All right, so we got that. Be sure that's good, it is. And we'll take these covers off. Yeah, it, I you know I this bar, this barely banana that everyone speaks of is before my time was stamping up, but it looks like barely banana to me. All right, we're gonna put that right there like that. And then if you need another dimensional, I want one right there because that that feels a little un that feels a little shaky to me, a little shaky. I'm just gonna take my dimensional and slide it right under there like that. Done. Now. I stamped, there's a little tiny flower in the set, this one. I stamped it in Lemon Lolly and cut it out. It's very hard for you to see, but I'm gonna help you with that. <clears throat> I'm going to take my Light Lost Lagoon and very, very tenderly and gently color the little leaves like that. And then I'll take my Light Bubble Bath and very, very gently put a flower center in there. And that helps it to become more flowery. Have you guys seen the new, uh, no, these are, no, this is the old blend. Never mind. What I wanted to show you, what my brain said was, have you seen the new tips on those stamp and write markers? See how different they are from the older version, which looks like, this was a totally random association, you guys, sorry. This is the old version here, and this is the new version here. You can see the difference, and I can tell you the writing difference is quite wonderful. Quite wonderful. Let me show you the difference. Are you ready? Ready? Quite wonderful. So very different look. I prefer the new style. So if you have old style markers, um, you could replace those with joy and happiness. All right, so now I'm gonna put one little quarter dimensional. You know, I'm kind of a dork because I really meant for that first quarter dimensional to be on my flower, but it's not, so I made another one. So now I have another quarter dimensional for another day. And I'm just gonna take this little guy right here and pop him right there. Mm, how cute is that? Now I have some um, new adhesive. I have got dimensional covers everywhere. My goodness. Okay, these are adhesive back solid gems. They're part of, they're in the new catalog. And I am just going to put a couple of three of those on my easel, like a shoe. Dum -ba -dum -bum 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 -bum. Let's do a medium one. Put that right there. And that is our card front. And y'all, I don't think, I mean, I could, I could not get any cleaner and simpler than this if I tried. And I actually, you know, did try. So anyway, here we go. Let's go ahead and do the innards, the inner inside. And this one is quite, quite simple. I'm going to stamp with love in Pretty Peacock in the middle of my white panel. Now you could just do the flower portion of the agenda and leave yourself a blank inside 
which would mean that you could then put this in your stash, and whenever you needed a card for a specific reason where you might send somebody a hug, you could add another different sentiment on the inside. Although a handmade hug with um, love is not exactly overly specific. It's pretty generic and kind of like we might always say that. All right. So there's that. And then over the top, I'm going to put uh, that flower again. And then I'm gonna be all efficient and stuff. Now here's a tip. Whenever you stamp over a darker color like that, even though you're going to use the same color for the next stamp, clean your stamp off. Because it doesn't always happen, but when you count on it not happening, you can pick up that dark pigment and get a not so great image when you stamp it the next time. And nobody wants that. Nobody wants that. Now let's see, somewhere, here we go. Here is our envelope. And I'm just gonna put this on the front, like so. And we'll get an envelope flap taken care of here in just a secondo. Let's go ahead and get this adhered. I love this set. I mean, they it's just too perfect for us. It's really just too perfect for us. And what I love is that it doesn't just cover the paper crafts you've got for knitters, you have for embroiderers. You guys, did you see this? I don't know if you saw it because I was moving pretty quickly. This is an embroidery hoop that you can cut out to, um, you know, create an embroidery hoop on your card. And you've got a ruler, scissors, which would go with the uh, yarn, and you've got some spools of either thread or ribbon and some buttons. So really kind of fun. It's, it's really a very fun, very appropriate card for us. All right, and now let's go. I went with a lemon lolly card base. You could do either white, bubble bath, or the lemon lolly, I probably wouldn't use pretty peacock because it's just close, right? I like the contrast here. So if you don't have lemon lolly cardstock, you could absolutely use the um, bubble bath or just go with a, a white bat, um, card base would be just fine. All right, so let's put some dimensionalities on here. I'll just use up that one and we're almost done. Again, I apologize for YouTube's recalcitrance. I do not know what it was doing. I, I did do an update on my phone this morning and, or wait, it was on the computer. So it was on the phone last night and on the computer and apparently they just stopped having any sort of communication. It was crazy, it was crazy. And soon you'll see cats sleeping with dogs. Uh, it'll be all manner of chaos. All manner of chaos. What is more boring than watching Mary color stuff? It's watching Mary take dimensional covers off. And then let's double check that we're right side up. Yep. Ooh, ooh, ooh. You see, I do love the lemon lolly with the Lost Lagoon. Very pretty. And the addition of the pink, you've got pink, green, and yellow, kind of a classic color combo. And I've used some of the Lost Lagoon paper from the new Subtles um, DSP pack. This one's got little hearts on it, which I thought was very, very appropriate for a handmade hug card. And we'll just put that on here like so. I'm liking the new designs in the DSP packs. I wasn't real sure I would when I saw them in their pictures, but um, I am actually liking them. Hi, Melanie, appreciate you coming on. And Mommy, I appreciate you showing up, Mommy Roo. I was late, so um, you're not as late as you thought you were. You're, yeah, there was a 10 minute grace period whereas I was fighting with my computer, so you're good. Here we go. World's easiest fussy cut. I would like to point out that no cuts were fussy made in the making of this card with the exception of this one. Everything I made has a die to cut it out. So I know that makes Amy very happy. It, let's not be fibbing, it makes me happy too. 
I don't mind fussy cutting, but if I can avoid it, I absolutely will. So there you go, guys. A little bit better late than never, I hope. And very cute. Crafting with you is the bundle. And it will be available on the 2nd of May. Or, you know, you can join the team today and add this and whatever else you'd like from the pre-order list to your starter kit. Get $125 worth for $99 and then get 20% off everything else. Hello, pretty good deal. I appreciate y'all hanging in. I appreciate you coming back when I went live. And I hope you have a great rest of your week. And perhaps I will see you on Saturday at 7. Thanks so much, guys. Talk.